my loves welcome back to my channel this week you have two videos because you're gonna have a shorter version of this art journal flip and a longer version this is the longer version if you want one that doesn't have the explanations that just has the art flipping through it quite quickly I'll stick a link in the description and in the cards and all of that business this is the longer one where I'm gonna chat with you about the journal because it's a old journal this is over years and years and years and it's a journal from out here which I found when I was redecorating in here and decided recently when I went through it because I thought I would just bring it back out because there's a few more pages at the end and fill it but there's a reason when we get to that last page uh, some of you may understand why I've decided to leave it where it's at because normally I will fill a journal I will fill a journal until it's done and then it goes in my journal trunks before that it sits on my shelf or wherever waiting to to be completed but this one has a very heartfelt reason as to why it's done and um, I'm gonna keep it as a capsule of the time that I created it which as I say goes over years so I hope you enjoy this longer version of the flip if you want the shorter version again I'll stick it somewhere for you to go and find that instead. So this sketchbook, I've got no idea of the brand. It isn't a favor or anything for me to recommend. And it's so long ago. I tried looking in it, but I couldn't see any brand, any brand markings or anything in it. So I think it was just whatever I had on hand at the time. It's so many years ago, I've got no idea where it came from. And as we go through, I'll probably have some dates on some of the pages to kind of figure out how old it is. The cover, the idea for me, like doing this on the cover, was that this is very similar to some of the journals I used to keep as a teenager. And as a teenager, I didn't really have many art supplies, many art skills, so how I decorated my journals was very simplistic. So I put this masking tape on the spine because back when I was a teenager washi tape didn't even exist, <laughs> let alone did I have any. So I kind of decorated it very simply with some coloured pencil, I did a tiny bit of stenciling with some gesso and then I got this pack of unicorn stickers and these little dots and that are glitter and I thought that's really me as a teenager so I kind of dedicated the cover of this to the teenage me because I do not have one of my teenage art journals because I got rid of them all when I turned to adulthood so I'm a, it's a little bit upsetting for me in that sense um, I would like to see what was in them now but you know it, that's just part and parcel <laughs> of, uh, of reflection and why I probably tell people to not get rid of their journals just because I have that regret um, but yeah so this cover is is basically a homage to the teenage me as soon as I got this sticker I knew it was going all this pack of stickers I knew one was going on the front because you know unicorns and glitter and all of that and then the rest of it just kind of came together as a very quick simple front cover that I, I wouldn't necessarily decorate it as now but the journal was just too similar to those that I kept as a teenager so because again this is kind of the only supplies that were around when I was a teenager is things like this is sketchbooks like this so let's have a look for a date <laughs> not on this one but there's a lot of writing around it no, no date on this one. So this one I think is with some water soluble media. It's got some oil pastels in it as well. Some stenciling, some inks, some graphite, a little bit of palette knifing I think here. Some collage. My focal is very stylistic of my girly artwork and it has some acrylic and some oil pastels with it itself and a little bit of graphite 
and then more collage and then this is clearly some rub-ons which I don't use very often in my journals because of this very reason that you can see with the words is they don't or I can't usually get them to uh, rub on exactly right. Sometimes I can but I just I don't see the point in risking it. I'd prefer just to use a stamp or to write it out myself. So this page I never really finished. It's clearly all water soluble media and I got so far and then kind of, eh, that's all right, I'll finish there. <laughs> and this one may look not finished, but it actually was finished. This was uh, one of the pages, as was this one, that was in my raw art journaling class. I had, and this one, I had um, pages from all, all different journals I used for that class because that raw intuitive journaling is how I journal particularly in my daily rituals journals, which is my everyday journaling um, that I did, particularly back here. Obviously it has a lot of writing in it and it has a lot of layers and things scribbled out and painted over. Um, another one that's kind of not finished and another one that looks like a background but is finished, which is quite funny sometimes how that happens how you can feel like that page is finished and that page is not but really when I look at it they're kind of on the same level do you know what I mean it's just a gut feeling sometimes as to when you've finished your pages and sometimes you just come back I mean even in this journal you come back to the same page over and over and over and over and over again I remember this background was painted in for ages before I came back in with the flowers and then before I came back in with the writing and this one had a load, a load of layers to it that existed long before I came in and, and did the rest of it, before I did some more detail. There's a stack of my zines. I used to make zines, which are self-published magazines. I was a zinester years ago. I used to love it. I haven't seen any dates yet. Um, this one has some figures on it that again I felt like I didn't finish and this one I remember doing these bits earlier on and then coming in later same with this one actually oh Sweepy Bum kissed this spot with his nose <laughs> of course a lot of these pages were made with him sitting at my feet because he used to like the spot in the outdoor studio at the bottom of the big sofa that I used to have out he didn't often come on the sofa occasionally but he used to like sitting at the bottom where the door was again one that looks kind of very different to some of the more filled out pages bit felt finished so that's where that's left still to see a blooming same with this one oh, baby me and my baby grandma That one was um, oh, handprints. It's strange, isn't it, when you look at your journals years later, how you see more in it than you initially see when you look at it. You look at it and you think, oh, that's quite a simple page. And then things are revealed, such as this swirl, which was obviously the first layer. It's got masking tape on it, some acrylic, it's got some stamping, it's got some, I don't know what I painted my hands with here, but it's water soluble media, some journaling, I don't know what that is, maybe oil pastel, some scrunch paper, which I have a tutorial on from maybe 10 years ago on the YouTube channel, some graphite, more water soluble media, and these little little touches on the corners 
Oh, I obviously, maybe I did it my hands with watercolour since I've got this picture of my watercolour palette, my first watercolour palette from many, many years ago, many moons ago. Hmm. This one I remember doing a video for and like sharing how many layers there are. When you get up close to it, there is a ton, a ton of layers on this journal page. Which again, years later, I mean, until I sit and actually look at it, I've got no clue what's going on on this page. As I've re-looked over this one, I understand the meaning of this and the little words that I have and the generational images and things like that. I understand what's going on here. Reflection on my hands and creativity and where I got it from, etc. But this one, with the, the words, I have absolutely no clue as to what any of this journaling is. And I remember in that video I also mentioned this page because this page, again, has so many layers written underneath. And how I like to do this, if you want to kind of mask it and give it a, a layer before you've even started, use a water-soluble pencil or a water, watercolour pencil or something like that to do the writing and do a little bit of... Um, water activation to get this kind of stuff going on, this detail here and here as you add the layers and obviously as you add the layers it disguises the, the writing and the meaning as well. But that's what happened here, That's this is all this pink that you see here, this first layer that's actually writing that I just activated with water. Okay, the first date. And we are quite a way through. <laughs> what, wait, quarter of a way through? I don't know. First date, 11th of September, 2015. And this is a scribble sketch of my pup. I'm not sure what I want to do, but I feel inspired to just sit and stare. And now he's no longer with me. I'm glad I did just take those times just to sit and look at him and love him. So this is how he would be lying when I'd be sitting on the sofa creating art. He'd be, he'd be there looking like that. And this is where you, you're not very precise with your pencil. You're just very loose and you just do a scribble for the outlines. Beautiful boy. Love you so much. Again, water activated media. Don't know exactly what, but at some point I did do an outdoor studio tour. I'll stick a link in the in the cards if you want to see it where I probably do go through the media that I did keep outside. Now this is a hard one to explain, but it's a mind map. So this spiral has a lot going on. I call them magic maps. It has kind of um, a plan about it. And it. I remember it was like revelation after revelation as I created this page because you can use your journal in so many ways and you can use it to surprise yourself. And I often do and I was surprised at, at kind of what came out of this because Sometimes you just need different ways to learn how to unlock things within you. To unlock things that you might not have thought about in a certain way before. Yeah. And again, that... It was a long time ago, so I can't quite remember all the details, but I remember being absolutely knocked off my feet. That it, it created this. kind of aha for me. Hmm, lots of layers, lots of stencils, both drawn out stencils and sprayed stencils, loads of layers, just layers and layers and layers and layers and layers.
24th of January 2016. This one was just some mark making on some gesso on top of, I think it was a waste paint background this one, but I really liked the <laughs> kind of squiggles, so I left the page. <laughs> This is again what the one that looks fairly simple, but when you look at it, there's a lot more going on. Pencil written underneath it. Yeah. I believe this one might be a tutorial in one of the groups on journal workshops, which is my art journaling community. I think it might have been in one of the birthday bashes that we did or the monthly challenge I can't remember I mean <laughs> I created that site about eight years ago or something so I'm not entirely sure but I think it's in one of the groups the free groups on there somewhere mm. yeah sometimes it when you keep journals it takes you right back to where you were I like write back as an instant, it's a memory keeper in a way, without having to write down your memories, like with that page from Sweepy Bum, with Sweepy Bum's image, that took me right back. Again, lots of layers, and then a really simple one, seems to be the theme with this, this journal. This one takes me back because I wrote down absolutely everything that was going on right then. <laughs> so I had cold coffee, a frog croaking, the sun was blazing, I had wet hair and I had fraught feelings. With dried out paints, noisy neighbours, self-fulfilling prophecies and an overactive mind. <laughs> Super simple page again. Just stating what I was doing. <laughs> These are neon pencils. And I'm just looking at why I kept it. Again, you couldn't get a more simple page, but again, I left it. <laughs> and then this one is probably <laughs> the most simple of the entire lot. I made a squiggle, because sometimes making a squiggle is all you can do. And we need to be proud of ourselves for that squiggle. Life is hard. Being human is hard sometimes. And sometimes making a squiggle is worth jumping up for joy. <laughs> for that achievement. I sent my friend um, a, a well done for getting to Thursday gif the other day and she's like oh my god is <laughs> our level achievement come to that and I'm like yes we need to celebrate getting to fecking Thursday. <laughs> um, this one I got some new they were like paint cra uh, like crayons and I was just testing out with a very quick I always meant to go over this because I don't like it very much I don't like the colour combo you know how I drew it or whatever, but sometimes you just let things be how they are, how they come out. Very, you know, if I was to spend hours on it, then I would like it, but just testing out crayons for two minutes while I sat there waiting for something else to dry, I think I was, you know. Comes out how it comes out. Okay, this is the last page, and I kind of need to or want to explain why this is the last page because I mean this last page has something on it but this is just waste paint from other pages that I sometimes just used it for but normally I would never leave some empty pages in a journal normally I like to fill up my journals it's just a, a thing I feel like when it's finished I get that satisfaction of it being finished however 
I looked at what this page was about. Second day of Summer Vibes 2020, 6th of April 2020. Second day out here with Bum Bum, able to enjoy the kennel. I used to call the outside studio the kennel because for him it was like a big kennel. First time I have opened this journal in years. How so much changes, yet nothing at all. And it was a couple of days after that, that Sweepy Bum. Well, it was a couple of weeks that he left me, but a couple of weeks after, uh, a couple of days after that, that he got ill. And so this was the last page I ever did in the journal. And just the fact that I've written down that so much has changed but nothing at all I want to encapsulate that I want to keep that I want to keep this journal as a time capsule of that time before I redecorated before I lost Bum Bum before um, I kind of stopped using this journal because this in a way is an anomaly this last page like it says first time I've opened this journal in years and I kind of feel like I mean I didn't really do much look I just used a bit of water soluble and then wrote on it and that's it so I kind of felt like you know how sometimes you look back in hindsight 2020 and you see a foreshadowing you see kind of like what was to come and I had no no notion of what was to come but I picked up this journal and did this page anyway and I just feel like it bookended from the first time that I dated this journal or well, that I've seen that I've dated it anyway where is he that picture of sweepy bomb so obviously I think I had this journal for maybe even a year or two before I don't know I had it for a long time though because I was dipping in and out of it see any other date on it. That's the thing with my journals though, it could be hidden. <laughs> could be in here somewhere and I just can't see it right now. Mm -hmm. But like this one where he kissed that bit and you know he was he was a part of whenever I would do these pages he was a part of it. So yeah, there's five years between that and that. There's more beforehand, but I just wanted to keep this journal as a memory of that time. is my journal from I don't know when <laughs> up to April 2020 A good few years there so much love everybody I will see you all next week have a great Christmas time much love everybody happy holidays Mwah. If you want more from me over the holiday period my love then head over to journal workshops where we currently have a twin cheese which is a two inch by two inch art journal swap and also a secret santa going on but that's only for a couple of more days that you can sign up before that closes and also there is the monthly challenge if you want to join us in a layered graphite challenge where if you partake in that there is also a giveaway going on there will also be a separate christmas giveaway going on over the period so head on over if you are a member if you want a member all of those things I've just mentioned are free to join so head on over and I will see you guys over there. Much love everybody, happy holidays. <laughs>